All right, man, there's nothing like being behind the scenes, nothing like talking to two fantastic, brilliant individuals. And that's what we're going to be doing on this particular episode. But let me step back and jump over to my man, Jordan. We're going to kick it off with Jordan first. And Jordan, take a moment, if you will, and tell them um, a little bit about who is Jordan, if you would. Um, what is your journey? And at the end of the day, um, what are you up to these days, man? Well, Shay, first of all, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for having me on the show for a second time. I'm super excited to be on here. Um, before I even get started, I want to give a shout out to two people who commented on my initial post. Shout out to Kevin Castillo in, um, in uh, Dallas, Texas, and Samuel Schneider up in Montreal, Canada. We got an international international fan here mm -hmm. on the Happy Entrepreneur Show. But um, yeah, for those of you guys that are tuning in today, my name is Jordan Rubin. I'm the enhancement coach. And my main, my sole purpose in life is to help people step outside their comfort zones, become the strongest version of themselves, and ultimately start living the life you truly want and deserve. I believe so many of us live our lives trapped in a box. And you know we just go based on what society tells us to do and not ultimately what our true purpose is, and what's going to make the world a better place. So if you're listening right now, and you know, to everybody tuning in right now, late night here on the East Coast, I'm going to be talking about enhancing your life and business and five of the, of the really biggest tactics that you can use to actually implement this. As soon as you're done watching today, go out there and implement this and actually transform your life. So happy to be on the show. I love that, man. Transform your life. I love it. This is going to be amazing. This is going to be totally incredible. Yeah. And, from, and for Ashley Little sitting over there coming from Nashville, Tennessee, what's up? Welcome to the show, by the way. Take a moment and give the folks a behind the scenes because um, we're going to get started shortly. But I always like to hear the backstory, like who are you? What's your journey like? And um, what are you up to these days? First, I would like to say thank you, Shay Brown, for the opportunity to be on the Happy Entrepreneur Show. <laughs> I would like to tell all of my Happy Entrepreneur Tribe, hi, this is an amazing platform. I consistently watch Shay's show every night, and it's so thankful to be on this platform. My name is Ashley Little. I am the CEO and founder of Ashley Little Enterprises and founder and owner of Talk Radio and TV Network, LLC. I specialize in all things media. I believe in the currency of connections, of using your voice to create the world in which you would want to see, because our destiny is tied to our connections. Tonight, I will be talking about the power of networking and collaborating for those listeners that might be struggling with collaborating, that might be fearful of it, or might just not know how to do it. So I'm going to give five different strategies to help you collaborate be better in your business, in your profession, in your relationships. So we're going to have some fun. Man, that's super exciting. As folks are listening to you, man, I love what you're doing. I love how you're making a difference in the world. Um, instead of asking what's your big why, which gets so boring sometimes, um, it, but it's, it's very effective. It's a good question. Don't get me wrong. It's a very important question. I know people want to know. I'm just curious, what's your mission? Like, um, what's your, what really drives you to do this every single day? What drives me is connecting people and being able to cre create opportunities for other people. I'm very big on servant leadership and being able to help other people because I believe a true successful person is one who helps others and reach back and forth for it. And that's what my platform centers around. And that's what I do on a daily basis. That really I enjoy. I really enjoy doing that. And I believe when you do that and when you consistently do that and when you don't have an agenda and you're genuine, your gift will make room for you. Ah, your gift will make room for you. That is so important. And, and Jordan, I know you're going to be talking about how to achieve success in life and or business. And I'm just curious. We're at that point now. I think um, in two days they have what's called National Quit Resolution Day. No, seriously. You can go Google uh, National Quit yeah. Resolution Day. And for the person that's out there that's like, Jordan, I know you're going to get some good stuff later, but um, they forgot what their resolution is, right? They just forgot. Um, what's one reason why they should get back on track? And, and really stick to it. Let us make it past that national resolution quit day. Mm -hmm. So resolution quit day, for those of you that are unaware, January 17th, yeah. literally, we've created a national holiday where it's like, <laughs> you know those year-long commitments that you made? Yeah. You said you were going to transform your life? No, yeah, here, here's your get-out-of-jail-free card. You're good. You can get out on January 17th. And, and that's literally a national holiday basically demonstrating just – how much of a joke New Year's resolutions can be. And if you tuned in, you know, Shay's 
biggest theme is today is my January 1st. I want to just start by reiterating that today is your January 1st. I don't care what the calendar says it's January 15th. Today mm -hmm. is literally your January 1st. It's a brand new opportunity for you to start over. If those, if you stopped on January 10th or January 8th or January 2nd even, you were just like, nope, now's your opportunity to get back on board because there's really no time like the present. You know, I, I believe there's a certain amount of dates throughout the year where people start committing to things, January 1st being one of those. Uh, for, you know, my friends who are Catholic, Lent is definitely one of those. And then there's just so many holidays, you know, quote unquote holidays where people claim, all right, I'm going to transform my life or I'm going to do this. And it's just a trend. Just like I talked about at the beginning, it's a societal trend that we're all supposed to follow with really no explanation, no individual um, requirement, right? So today's your January 1st. Now is a great opportunity, especially right now, especially if you're here on the Happy Entrepreneur Show in the Eastern time zone or whatever time zone you're in, it's late and you're here listening to something that's going to really enhance your life, and give you some strategies and tactics. So now's the perfect time to go out and re-implement those to enhance your life. I love it, man. I love the energy. I love what you're saying. It certainly, it's resonate with me. We're going to have a fantastic show. For those folks that are tuning in, Danny that says, Today is my January 1st. Reset every day as D1. Cynthia Green, it is always a pleasure. And B, Jacqueline Jetter. I got it right this time. Jetter. I got it right this time. Jetter. Thanks so much for joining. You guys are amazing. You guys are rock stars. We're going to go ahead and kick this thing off. To give me the intro in five, four, three, Two, one, it's showtime, everybody. We're gonna have a good time. <laughs> I made to my mom. I only did this message for one person, and that's my mom. This is for you, mom. Love you. My name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Shay Brown. My check, my check. All I do is we win, we win, we no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the building, everybody hands go up. Yes. Yeah. And they stay there. Thank you, thank you, Captain. Well, it's a great day. My name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur, and welcome to the number one business development and revenue-focused late-night show in the country, The Happy Entrepreneur Show, where we're on a mission. And our mission really is to empower, our mission is to inspire, and our mission is to provide you, the entrepreneur, you, the business owner, you, the person with this big vision that you have. In fact, you have three visions, by the way. You have three visions. I believe you have a vision for yourself, and it takes resources for those folks that are out there that want to live a certain lifestyle. You want to eat a certain food. You want to take fancy vacations. You, you want the pleasures of life, and it takes resources to do that. And then, then for my entrepreneurs that are out there that have a vision, that's the second vision, for your loved ones, the ones you care the very most about, the ones that depend on you for food or shelter or the ones you want to send your kids to a school of your choice or, or many of you like writing a check to causes that are near and dear to you. It takes resources, which means it takes revenue, it takes money. And then the third vision that you have, and that's why this show exists, to give you those resources, and that's why we have experts like today, like none other than Jordan, Ruben, and Ashley Little. They are the resources to help you execute that big vision that you have for the people that you were called to serve. And God, that's who I believe in, has, has blessed you with the talent. He's blessed you with the experience. He's blessed you with the expertise. And now you need help. And, and that's very reasonable. So that's going to happen this evening. Now, I'm looking down below, and I always like to connect with B. Jacqueline Meter, like Jeter. So it's Jeter, not Jetter. It's Jeter. Thanks a lot for reminding me. You know, I've been practicing that for over 90 days. We're going to get it right. We're going to keep on trying. So thanks for tuning in. I love all of the viewers out there. Let's kick this thing off if we can, Ashley. And I'm looking over, and I know you're going to be talking about the power of collaboration, the power of networking. But yeah. first, 
we talk about today is my January 1st. And today is my January 1st is near and dear to me because it represents that moment where you get a restart, you get a do-over, you get a new beginning. And every morning when your feet hit the ground, today is your January 1st. It's a new opportunity. But in this context, if I can frame the conversation, I like to always ask the question about what was your January 1st moment? We have many of those throughout the day where you made a decision. And when you make a decision and it changes the trajectory of your life, you make a decision. Some of you decide you're going to go to the gym. And you either go to the gym or you sit on the couch. <laughs> Some of you made a decision yeah. you're going to eat more fruits and vegetables. Maybe you had a hamburger and french fries. You get a new start. Today is your January 1st. So here's the question specifically to you, Ashley. What was your January 1st moment that you decided you're going to draw a line in the sand and you were going to become an entrepreneur and you're going to work and network and teach other folks how to do PR? Well, I've always had the entrepreneurship spirit, you know, at a young age, babysitting, I have my babysitting business and my tutoring company. And then when I really, really took the full force of stepping out into, you know, entrepreneurship was in 2017 when I was in my first uh, book collaboration. That's really what really um, pushed me out into my purpose. I was very vulnerable with, to the world. I was sharing some experiences that I faced in corporate America and just in life general. And, you know, being able to be in that book collaboration and share my experiences and really share some of the things that I went through, that really opened the doors to so many more opportunities. And I really started walking in my purpose in, in, in entrepreneurship. So that's really how it started. That was my January 1st. Wow, your January 1st moment is always important. Thanks so much for sharing. As I'm looking over at the one and only, the man himself, the helps folks achieve what they're looking for in life. I'm wondering to myself, man, you heard the question, what was your January 1st moment that you decided that being an entrepreneur, yeah, this not only is for you, this is who you are, and you're going to make this work no matter what? Yeah, well, my January 1st moment definitely was 20 yeah around 2017 actually i think we were kind of on the same wavelength there 2017 was actually when i really started to take action towards this purpose of mine so to give you guys a little bit of a background information um you know i don't really have that story of starting from the bottom and just kind of building up and building up to where i'm at today like you know the the standard i nothing and here's where i'm at you know growing up i really had i had security. You know, I had both parents in the household, never had to worry too much financially. Uh, my one responsibility really was just get good grades. Why do I got to get the good grades? So I can get into a good school. Why do I got to go to a good school? So that I could get a good job and basically live off that good job income and just live a happy average life, right? That, that was kind of the, the mindset I was brought up in. And, and so I followed down that track and got accepted into the University of Georgia and I was actually really proud of that because I worked really hard in high school. Like when everybody else was out just doing whatever, I really focused on my studies and got accepted into the University of Georgia and looked at it like a really big accomplishment. And then when I actually moved into the University of Georgia, like I, I packed all my bags and everything, moved into my dorm room and just thought, wait, so I just did all that studying and now I got to go up here and, and do more studying? Like, like, what's the end game here? Am I just going to keep working and working? Like, what do I really want to do? Who do I really want to impact? Those were the questions I should have been asking myself. But even in that moment, I just kind of took those questions and put them on the burner and decided to focus on the, the famous mantra that college is the best four years of your life. And best four years of your life at a party school like UGA pretty much led to drinking and drugs and partying and skipping class and just all those things that literally you see on the American Pie movies. That was kind of the, the lifestyle I lived. And uh, at the moment, I was having fun, but I was doing it to cope with and ignore the problems that I was facing, that I had no purpose. I had no real long-term vision for my future. So now it was about my sophomore year. So we're in the end of 2015, not quite my January 1st, but 2015, I had this major, major, major uh, transformational experience. Uh, so basically, we, a couple friends and I, we were in Athens, Georgia, University of Georgia. We went up to Tennessee, close to where Ashley's at, but uh, not quite. We were in Gatlinburg, the Smoky Mountains. Basically, a group of us, we rented out this cabin 
with two floors, and outside on the second floor, there's this hot tub, all right? And, of course, you know, back in that time, it was drinking, drugs, partying. So I was in that hot tub, and I continued to do those activities. I continued to drink and drink until my vision started to get hazy. I started literally blacking out. And I remember it was me. I'm sitting in this hot tub, and then one of my friends is across me. And I remember him telling me, I could barely, barely, barely remember him telling me, here, wait right here. I'm going to go get some more to drink. He walks out. He goes inside. That was the last thing I remember from that night. And I woke up sometime later, and I was the only one in that hot tub. And the sobering reality really hit me that I was, I could have very easily drowned right then and there. And more importantly, not just the fact that I could have ended my life right there. I started thinking, what would my legacy have been? That same question that I had been putting off for two years came back to me. Like, what have I actually been putting off? Why am I doing this? Like, I would have died. And then there would have been an article about 19 year old college student overdose of drugs and alcohol, a debate on why underage drinking is bad, a funeral, and that would have been it. There would have been no lives to impact. There would have been no positivity there at all. It would have just been a, a bad memory. And so that's when I really decided I need to do something about this. I really need to find a group of people to impact. I need some sort of purpose for my life. So I, I'll fast forward a little bit, but those next two years, I really focus on what it was that I wanted to do. And after watching a great guy named Elliot Hulse, um, after watching his videos, go check him out on YouTube, Elliot Hulse. His videos from back in 2011 and 2012 were just super duper inspirational and made me decide I want to be a speaker. Because this stranger, this stranger, he lives in Tampa, Florida. I've still never met the man face to face in my life, but he transformed my life literally by posting free content on YouTube. So that's when I decided I want to do the same thing with YouTube content. I want to do the same thing with podcast content. But it wasn't until 2017 that I finally took action. And the reason I finally took action, and uh, this is one of the five really big tips to being able to enhance your life, is surrounding yourself with the right people, which I know April, um, Ashley's really going to jump in yeah. to the, to the right. details behind that, how to effectively surround yourself with a good network. But once I had those things in place, mm -hmm. it was finally, all right, the pe so, people around support me. Right. So, so, so if I understand, that was your January 1st moment. We're going to get back to your backstory, but that was your January 1st moment. And, and what a wake-up call that is. And for everyone that's joining, like Brother Bedford out there and LaVonda Hawkins, hey, LaVonda Hawkins, I owe you a phone call. Uh, D. Bold and Cheryl and so many folks. Thanks for joining. We're just getting started. Jordan's now telling us what his January 1st moment was, which is so important, very, very important. And one of the things you're going to find out this morning, this evening, this afternoon is how to achieve success in life and business. And then I'm going to ask when we come back in just a moment, I'm going to ask Ashley Little if she'll break down not the importance of networking, not the importance of collaboration, but some of those key steps, because once you have those key steps, and once you're implementing those key ideas, then you can also focus on yourself first. Um, one of the things I love that I hear all the time, and it's such a powerful phrase, is this. You must be a leader of one before you're a leader of many. I'll say it again. You have to be a leader of one before you're a leader of many. So you have to be a leader of yourself. And how important is that? What we're going to do now is we're going to go over to the one and only James and Cynthia Green. Now, James and Cynthia Green are always, they're part of marriage built to last. And they're going to share their message on what it takes not only to have a marriage, but also have a relationship that is fulfilling, that has joy, and that lends itself to what I would call an everlasting happiness. We're going to go over to James and Cynthia. We'll be back in just a moment. When we do, Ashley Little is going to kick off with the power of networking and collaboration. We'll be back in just a moment. Take it away, guys. We'd like to say hello to all of the Happy Entrepreneur Tribe. We are James and Cynthia Green of Marriage Built to Last, your marriage and relationship visionary strategist. And we're going to give you the married couple's thought of the week. This is your January 1st, which means it's a new year, it's a new decade, it's a new you. And we want to talk about power couples, power vision. Yes. So we have a question for you today. 
When is the last time you asked your spouse what is their greatest dream, their greatest vision? And if you have not done so, that's your assignment. We want you to sit down, have a conversation, and find out what is your spouse's biggest mm -hmm. dream? What is their biggest vision? Why are we asking you to do that? Because guess what? Once you know, you can then gain clarity, number one, of your spouse's dream. Number two, then you can be a support for your right. spouse's dream. Because guess what? You don't need to find an accountability partner. You, you already have got an <laughs> accountability right. partner, right? And then number three, we want you to cheer them on. Because James and I, we believe that you are and should be your, your spouse's, spouse's biggest, biggest cheerleader. cheerleader. So your assignment, sit down with your spouse, find out what is their biggest, greatest dream, gain clarity, agree to support one another, and then get behind each other and cheer each other right. on. This is our thought of, the, thought of the Week. We are James and Cynthia Green of Marriage Built to Last, your marriage and relationship visionary strategist. And remember, if, if you, you build, build it, it, it will last. last. Now, Shay, back to you. Well, it's a great day. My name is Shay Brown, the Happy Entrepreneur, and welcome back to the Happy Entrepreneur Show, the number one business development and revenue-focused late-night show in the country where we're on a mission, and that mission is to empower, that mission is to inspire, and that mission is to provide you, 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 the person watching right now, with the resources you need to execute that big vision you have. Isn't that vision huge? It's much bigger than you that vision you have for the people you were called to serve. And Ashley Little, Jordan Rubin, are both here to do one thing, and that is to serve. And Ashley is gonna talk a little bit about the power of networking and collaboration. And, and Ashley, as, as you, when I first saw the topic, I said, not another topic around networking. Oh my <laughs> gee, my knees, oh my gosh, I had a headache. But, 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 but if I have to ask the question, if I can ask the question, um, why is, is this networking topic and this collaboration, why is it one of your many passions as a person? And they're going to read your bio. If a number of folks over at Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe right now, they're reading your bio, they're reading Jordan's bio, they're Googling you, they're finding you, they know you do PR and all this stuff. Why is this near and dear? Of all the topics you could talk about, why did you say this is the topic tonight, Shay? Well, I always have had a passion for connecting people and collaborating with people. And it's just a passion. I love people and I love helping other people. So that's why this is so dear to me because a lot of opportunities and a lot of partnerships that I have built have been off just really building them with other people and serving other people. So talking about the different tactics to have when you are building these relationships and really building these strong partnerships is number one, being willing to serve. And I have I, every collaboration that I've been a part of, I'm always looking for ways to how can I help this person build their platform? How can I help this person um, take their brand to the next level? That's how it should be. It's not about me. It's about having that selfless mindset of how can I help this person, right? Because you should be a giver. You should have that servant leadership mentality, that giving mentality. Because as I said it before, when you do that, you don't have an agenda and you're genuine about it. Your, your blessings will come. Next, you have to bring that value. Well, how, can, I, can I ask you a question? Down? Before you yeah. get to next, I know you got a whole list over there. She's fired up, ladies and gentlemen. You think I, you think, you think I bring some fire to the table? You think Jordan brings some fire to the table? Say, wait a minute, Shay. I got some girl power up in this camp. <laughs> she said, I got the fire, and I believe it. Trust me, yes. I believe it. I'm just curious. Um, was there a time that you had to serve your way in? to a network and if so can you tell us a little bit about that i know for me with the power and networking conference with dr george c frazier um, myself and a group of us with trevor Otts, we went down there to actually serve we were carrying boxes we were t doing the name tags we were serving at the doors i mean we were like the lowest of the lowest of the lowest and we was like man if we could just get there maybe someone will be sick and we could just be there maybe we'll say next year i'll give you a workshop and it worked out for us um but that wasn't you know, the, the story for everybody. So I guess my question is, um, can you share a time where maybe you or someone you know had to serve their way in that allowed them then to connect with a greater network? Well, I can use a couple different examples, but I will sure. use one now because I write for a, a, a couple magazines, but particularly one, Glambitious Magazine. I do a lot with the, the, the CEO, CEO and founder of Glambitious. And what I do is I found great people 
to be on the cover or be featured in the magazine that will bring value to her network. So I, I serve my way. I've been serving my way with that connection since what last year. And I've built, helped her build her platform because as I stated, it's not about me. It's about bringing that value, helping someone else become great. And those doors just connecting people, helping me build in her magazine, building her platform has opened so many doors for me, speaking opportunities, connections, podcast interviews, just so many doors just by serving and building her magazine, writing for her magazine, things, you know, things like that is what I'm talking about when you're serving for people. It's nothing in for you. It's you're building, you're helping someone else. And then while you're doing it, those lessons, those doors are opening for you as well. Yeah, when, when, you, when you look back on this whole servant mentality, um, and it might be a loaded question, but when was it first instilled in you? When you look back over your life, at what point did you say, you know what, um, this, is, this is important, and uh, this is what I'm going to do. And I know you've done it through college and so many places. Yeah. I'm just a little curious, uh, where did that passion first get united at? I would say a young age, I've always been that person to work in the community or figure out how can I help, you know, this this family or to be able to help these, these you know, mentor these young girls on how to be women and how to give back. So I would say it would start with, you know, when I started mentoring the youth because I'm, I love giving back to the youth. I felt like it would, start, it would have started there, creating those opportunities and giving back to our younger generation. So and that's one reason why I started my nonprofit Sweetheart Styles was to help our young girls be able to go to college and help them financially and mentor them throughout college and give them the resources that a lot of us did not have. So I would say it would have started there with the youth. Wow. Wow. Very, very powerful. So you gave us point number one. Uh, go back and tell us what's point number one and then give us point number two. She so talked about the power of networking and collaboration. And here's what I want you to listen to as you're listening right now. It's never about what you know or what you heard or what you've been taught. It's always about what are you doing every minute of every moment of every day in order to use collaboration as one of your tools, in order to network, in order to serve more people and also advance what you believe in as well. So tell us number one and then give us point number two, please. Then after you give us point number two, I'm gonna ask Jordan what his thoughts are as he's listening to point number one and point number two. So what's point number one again and then give us point number two. Point number one is be willing to serve. Okay. Number two, Bring in value. So when you're networking and trying to build these relationships, you should be thinking, how can I bring value to this person? How can I bring value to this person's platform? How can I bring value to this person's brand? How, you know, what, you know, what's different about me that I can help this person, right? So when you're doing that, you want to also do research on the person that you're looking to build this relationship with and figuring out how you can bring the value to their platform by looking and see, are they helping other people, right? Because you want to make sure that you're connecting with, with the right, like-minded people who, who believe the same thing that you do. Because that's so important because it's, it's all about serving, but you also want to make sure that both, both people are walking away with abundance. And as I say, both people are winning at the end of the day. Man, I love that. Bring value. Uh, Jordan, as you're hearing these two points, what's what's going through your mind right now, my man? Well, one of my points, one of my five was uh, focus on providing value to other people because, you know, that's really yeah. how to build a business Absolutely. is, you know, whether or not you're consulting people or coaching people or teaching people how to network, even if you're just, you know, opening a restaurant or any kind of business, you want to focus on value. Because there's really two minds the way I look at it. There's the the broke mindset and the rich mindset. The broke mindset is I don't have money right now. I need to find someone to give me money. And and those are the people that'll say, all right, I just need a job. I just need a job that's going to get me a money. Or, or I need a business that's going to bring me some income and not focus on the actual value. The rich mindset, the wealthiest people in the world focus on how you can actually provide value for people. And if people see what you have to offer as extremely valuable, and they can actually take what you have and go out, and, and not just in the moment, not just take what you have in the moment, but go on and on and on and continue so that like five, six years down the road, that thing I learned when I worked with Ashley has really impacted me five, six years down the road. <clears throat> That's gonna lead to an amazing testimony that's really going to set some value for your brand so it's very, a long-term game for sure very very powerful Ashley you're doing well man thanks a lot Dolores is out there uh brother Bedford and so many folks that are watching right now 
Uh, I'm going to turn it back over to you, Ashley. But for those folks that are watching, what's one way they can all network right now inside of the Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe or any tribe they're in? What's one of your recommendations? It might not have been on your list, okay? It might not have been on your list. That's okay. But, you know, that's <laughs> what we do, okay? So my question yeah. to you is, what's one of your recommendations in this digital space when you're a member of the Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe or any tribe that's out there right now, a community, what's one of the ways you suggest that folks network and collaborate within the group? I would say show up, show up and and, and remain consistent. Consistency is key. It's not about how perfect it is. It's about how consistent you are, right? So that consistency is what I would say in showing up. Let me put it together, showing up and being consistent. And that's how you can build those relationships right now is showing up on the Shea Brown show every night and look at all these connections that you could make just off of listening to his show every night with the different topics and the people that show up. Right. So that that's what I will leave with. Yeah. Wow. That's very powerful. Show up. You know, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to make a personal commitment when I show up in other tribes. I've I've been um, I'm probably the only one that's been slacking. Right. I mean, I enjoy looking in there and I'll, I'll look sometimes, but I haven't really hit the like button. I made a little comment or told someone thanks for sharing their thoughts. So uh, I'm making a personal commitment. I'm going to turn it back over you. I know you got to give us points three, yeah. four and five, but I'm going to make a yeah. personal commitment to show up and leave a comment that encourages or empowers someone else. So thanks, thanks for reminding me. I know it sounds small, but you know, it's the small things that really matter. And that's, that's what's so yeah. important. For everyone that's watching right now, everyone's listening, here's what I'd like for you to do. I'd like for you to show up. We're gonna take a quick commercial. We're gonna come back in just a moment. But as we do that, as we do that, I want you to show up right now. Look right below the video, look right below the video and share your number one networking tip. Share your number one way to collaborate. <laughs> and then do that right now. And even if you've never made a comment in your life, Go ahead and do that, and then someone may connect with you. That's the power of what we're doing right now. We're going to go over in just a moment to Rob Howes in just a second, and Rob Howes is going to have a conversation about be present where you are. It's one of my favorite. but here's what I want you to do. Look below the video. What's up, Justin Morgan, who has a fantastic show, by the way, um, but take a moment and mention your number one idea. We'll be back in just a moment with Ashley Little. Ashley Little is talking to take today to us about the power of networking and collaboration. And then as she's doing that, Justin, and I said, sorry, Justin, Jordan, Jordan Rubin is sitting back saying, you know what? We're going to talk about how to achieve that success in your life, in your business, and you can do it. We'll be back in just a moment. Rob Howes and Laurel, take Hey, guys. All right. Me and Daddy are here. All right, I, um, I'm doing a video. I got a question. No, it's not a question. This is a video where I'm telling people something. I'm telling them that this today is their January 1st. Today is your January 1st, Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe, because today is the only day you got. Because tomorrow's not promised, and yesterday is gone. So the reason why today being your January 1st is significant because it keeps you from procrastination. Procrastination is the destroyer of dreams. Yeah, it's the destroyer. It's the killer of dreams. So. Take action. Be present where you're present. That's the real gift. Be present where you are present. That is the real gift. Today is your January 1st. Say, say today. Today. Say today is your January 1st. Today is January 1st. Say it loud. Today is January 1st. That's it. Don't forget it. Well, it's a great day. My name is Shay Brown, the Happy Entrepreneur, and welcome back to the Happy Entrepreneur Show, the number one business development and revenue-focused late-night show in the country where we're on a mission, and our mission is to encourage, our mission is to empower, and our mission is to provide you, <laughs> the person with the big heart that gets up every single day to change this world, make a difference in someone's life, and help someone in their business really have all the resources that you need to execute that big vision that you have for the people you were called to serve. And this morning, this evening, this afternoon, no matter what time it is, wherever you are in the world, Jordan is here and none other than Ash is here right now to provide you those resources and give you the best they have. Ash is giving us points number one and two. She has three more points. I'm gonna turn it over to her to share what is point number three around the ability to be able to network and collaborate. And before she does that, she has to tell us the difference between networking and collaborating. I mean, I, I'm just curious. I'm sure there's some definition out there in Webster or somewhere online, but I don't care about what I can Google. I want to get your view of the world. So when you, someone hears networking, what should they be thinking? I think that's fair and reasonable. And when they hear collaboration, what should they be thinking? Can you kind of put both of those together? 
or when you're networking, you're you're first meeting that person, you're getting to know that person, you're making that interaction, that connection. And then when you're collaborating with them, you're actually putting you, two brains together and you're executing the vision and both of you are winning, right? You're executing this vision that you all have together to make your, your vision and that other person's vision even bigger, right? Because we are better together. So that would be the difference. That's how I look at it. Networking, you're building a connection, you're opening the door to open to future opportunities. But it's so important, which I'm going to talk about next, is that follow up. Because that follow up leads to that collaboration. If the follow up is not there, the collaboration is not going to happen. Well, go ahead and talk about it because I know Nicole Brown Hurston, who's an amazing individual, is saying her tip was to provide experience and expertise when collaborating with others. Why iron sharpens iron? Go ahead and talk about your next tip. I think it's so important right now. Yeah, the next tip is following up. You have to be consistent and persistent with following up, right? And I think a lot of people, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm one of those people that sh I'll shoot my shot, right? And so if somebody does not, you know, respond back, right on, you know, or, you know, or respond or give me the yes right away, I'm going to still be, remain consistent and persistent with doing that. So I would tell every listener, your follow-up is so important. When you're meeting somebody and you're, you're interacting and you're making that connection, follow up that same night. Or if not that same night, that next day, because after that, they're probably not going to remember you, okay? So when you open that door, you want to make sure that that follow-up is so consistent. And when you get in the door there, you want to stay in the door. The door is you open the door, but you stay in the room. And you stay in the room by when you meeting with this person, let's say Shay Brown, and we're making a connection. When I'm in the door and I make the connection with Shay Brown, now I'm going to figure out how can I help Shay Brown? How can I bring value to Shay Brown's platform? Because a lot of people sometimes can get in the room, but can you stay in the room? Ooh, that's why the follow-up is so important oh i like that <laughs> can you stay in the room oh she has a she has a great show by the way creating your own seat at the table i'm trying to stay in the room and uh she's wonderful okay i like that i like that all right give us give us the next tip if you will give us give us the next tip so the next tip would be and i would tell anybody this i think every business owner should have a platform of interview or media platform right I, I, everybody should have a podcast or something to share their voice to connect with people the, the the next tip would be interviewing if you want to connect with somebody that you probably want to talk to on a daily basis or maybe they probably are of a certain status where you probably can't really just reach out and get their attention ask them to interview ask to ask to interview them on your platform Everybody likes to interview. I guarantee you, they will respond to an interview. So that was, this is for our listeners. If you want to connect with these people of certain levels or whoever that you might have in mind that you want to connect with in 2020, build your own platform, create your own platform, start a podcast, start a Facebook Live, and start interviewing people. And once you start interviewing them, you're creating a doorway here and a connection. And it's up to you if you're going to keep that connection going because execution is important. Don't just interview them and then forget them and don't continue to build relationships with them. You got to continue to massage that relationship. But the door to doing that is interviewing them, offering them opportunity on your platform, right? Oh, you, that, that's serving, right? You opening the door, not, act, not, not looking at what you can get from them. No, how can I connect with them? How can I help them? Get them on your platform. They're talking about their business. They're talking about what they're doing. You're creating that space right there to connect with them. That is your key moment right there. Oh, I love it. I love it. That's your key moment. Give us tip number five. Ladies and gentlemen, she's giving it to us. <laughs> tip number five, reciprocal relationship. I'll end with reciprocal relationships. Always make sure your relationships are reciprocal. I tell everybody that, you know, always have that mindset of making sure everybody walks away with abundance. Don't be a person that is just connecting with somebody to, um, you know, pretty much get on their platform or pretty much see how much you can get from them. Make sure that you're bringing value. Like I said before, bringing value to them, that the relationships are reciprocal and that you all are both winning and like-minded and are helping each other. Because at the end of the day, nobody, if your dream is just you alone, your dream is too small and we all need someone. So make sure you're nurturing those relationships and make sure those collaborations are successful and that they are, a collaboration that continues to happen, right? It don't need to be one collaboration. It needs to be collaboration that continue to build from each other. And then you're connecting each other to help each other continue to elevate. 
Wow, powerful, powerful. Jordan, I know you're sitting there, you're shaking your head, my man. What's going through your mind in about one minute or less? What's going through your mind right now? Oh, so much knowledge just coming in. <laughs> I mean, just so many tips right there. I think that's amazing. And, uh, you know, I love what you said, Ashley, about, <clears throat> about can you, it's one thing to get in the room, but can you stay yeah. in the room? Yeah. And, I, and I want to bring up a quick statistic, and I don't know the exact numbers. I may be off a little bit, mm-hmm. but that the majority of sales are made on the fourth or, or longer follow-up. Yeah. But yeah. so many people do not go past follow-up number one or two, and some people don't follow up at all. They're like, oh, this person didn't respond to me? Ah, oh, darn. Oh, well, I guess they're not interested. Because in today's era, we're so busy on social media. It's so easy to get distracted. So follow up, follow up, follow up if it's important enough to you to provide value to that person. Man, that is super powerful. That is super powerful. And I know coming up in just a moment, you're going to talk about now, how do you stay in the room, right? How do you achieve this success? How do you make sure you're there? Yes, we got to network. Yes, we got to give. Yes, we got to make sure we bring value to the table. And yes, we got to follow up and be consistent. And without that, we're out the game. We're not even nowhere near the building. But (laughs) once we're in the building... (laughs) Once we come to the table, the question becomes, how do we stay there? I love something that my mentor, Dr. George C. Frazier, taught me many years ago. He said, Shay, everybody is invited to the table at least one time. Doesn't matter what your status is in life. It doesn't matter what you've been through. It doesn't matter what's going on. You're invited to the table at maybe one time. But whether you get invited back a second time or a third time or a fourth time depends on what you're bringing back to the table. So you can't leave the table and then come back and still be empty handed. So this is very important. So you got to go out there and be able to achieve success. You got to have achievement. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the definition of achievement is, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to tell you, we come back, Jordan's going to break down how to achieve success in life and in business and how to use all those principles that the one and only Ashley, who's a bad mamma jamma, the sister's just bad to the bone. She has the energy. She has the fire. She's out there every single day. She's not going anywhere. She'll be right here hanging out with us. But at the end of the day, you can use networking and collaboration to get to where you want to get to. With that being said, we're going all the way down to Arkansas. Yeah, Little Rock, Arkansas, to talk to Dr. Kim Warren Martin. She's there by way of Silicon Valley from California. She always wants me to mention that, by the way. I always want to mention that. And she talks about value your values. Now, George's going to talk about how to achieve success, but you got to be able to value your values. We'll be back in less than two minutes. Kim, Dr. Kim Warren Martin, take it away, my good friend. Hi there, all you wonderful, happy entrepreneurs. You guys are awesome and you rock. And today is your January 1st. And yes, you control the calendar. This is Dr. Kim Warren Martin founder of Successful and Fulfilled, bringing you my thought of the week here on the Happy Entrepreneur Show. This week's thought is value your values. So what do you mean by that, Kim? Well, let's break it down. Value has to do with how much something is worth, either in terms of cash or importance. And your values, my values, that's what's important to us. So they're like a compass that point us to our true north. So when I say value your values, that means place high importance on what you've identified is important to you. Now, maybe you value authenticity, kindness, teamwork, integrity, or service. If these are things you value, don't compromise these things in your life or your business. So here are three things you can do in order not to compromise your values. Number one is know what they are. And if you're not sure, you can literally Google values assessment and there's any number of free assessments out there you can take to get some idea. Number two, you want to keep a list of your values in front of you as a reminder of what they are. And number three, you want to share your values personally and professionally because when values are shared, they can literally build cohesion in any relationship, whether personal or professional. Now, could there ever be potential conflicts in our values? (laughs) You bet. And in those moments, just consider what needs are being satisfied if you go against your values and ask yourself, how can I get this need met without compromising my values? Roy E. Disney said, when your values are clear to you, making decisions becomes easier. This is Dr. Kim Warren Martin, founder of Successful and Fulfilled, with the thought, value your values, here on the Happy Entrepreneur Show. Until next time, make it a great day. Back over to you, Shay.
Well, it's a great day. My name is Shay Brown, the Happy Entrepreneur, and welcome back to the Happy Entrepreneur Show, the number one business development and revenue-focused late-night show in the country where we're on a mission to inspire, <laughs> to empower, and provide you, the entrepreneur, with the resources necessary to execute the vision you have for the people you are called to serve. And now we're going to have a conversation with the one and only Jordan. And Jordan Rubin is down there in Atlanta. Well, outside of Atlanta, by the way. And he's going to talk about how to... Um, um, achieve success in life and or business but I got to ask him a question first I got to ask him what is his definition of achievement and what is his definition of success I mean success means different things to different <laughs> people so Jordan do you mind I know you're gonna get into you know whatever your three ideas and all that I know that but I'm just curious man when you look within yourself um, what does success look like and what does it mean to Jordan well, first and foremost, for everybody listening right now, uh, if you came across the Happy Entrepreneur Show right now tonight, that is not by accident. There's a reason that you're watching the show right now. And if you're really ready to enhance your life and get to the next level and take control and start living the life you truly want and deserve, I want you to comment below the word enhance to show us that you're really focused and you're engaged with what's about to go down. So my definition of success, I love what you said, Shay. Success is different for every single person. But I believe so many people, what really matters is our definition of success versus what we're actually doing. Like you can have any definition of success. Like if success is having a stable job and like a family and being able to spend time with your kids or something like that, if that's your definition of success, great. But what's more important is are you living that definition of success. If your definition of success is having a successful business and being able to travel the world, that's great, but are you actually living that vision of success? Are you actually live? Are you working towards being able to live that life? Because it's definitely a process. It 100% is a process, and that that'll lead me to my first point. I know you. I I know you said the number three, but I've actually brought five. Oh, I love it! I love it. He's tips. bringing value. To over deliver. He, he's <laughs> bringing value. And, You'll uh, be so happy to hear that. By the way, Ashley he says I don't have three. I have five. I'm going to bring value. All right, my man. You got five. Take it away. Yeah, I hope we have time for all five. I hope we have time. But uh, the first one, and this one's really, really important. My mindset is more important than knowledge. And you're probably thinking, what? But if you don't have the knowledge, what are you going to be able to do? But look at in today's era. We're in the year 2020 now. And you have access. You could go on Google.com and you could look up information for anything you want and get some credible sources. Like if I wanted to learn how to cook, I could go to Google and type, how do I cook a five course meal to entertain guests? And I could get the recipes, I could get the ingredients that I need, but if I have the mindset, am I actually gonna go to the store? Am I actually gonna get those ingredients? Am I actually gonna go to the kitchen and actually cook this delicious five course meal? That's the difference between a successful person and someone who's just talks, someone who just has the knowledge and for so long, and that kind of goes back to the story I was talking about earlier, mm -hmm. between 2015, which I consider my January 1st moment, through 2017, I did not take public action. And during that time, I was someone who thought, oh, I need more information, I need more time. But here's the reality. When you get started, you're going to be a beginner. You don't have the experience. You have to build that experience. But as long as you have the vision for what you want, like I knew I wanted to serve people. I knew I wanted to be able to help people become the strongest version of themselves. I just needed to get started. I needed to have that execution mindset. And so many of us, when we're overloaded with information, we're afraid of taking action. Mm, I like that. I like that. So that was point number one, ladies and gentlemen. That was point number one. Love it, man. I love it. Take action don't wait thanks a lot what's point number two my good friend point number two is actually something i've been focusing on my over the past two months and this is something i wish i had taken action on earlier but it's focused internally first because so many of us when it comes to starting businesses we think all right i'm taking action now which is great definitely take action towards your business but there's definitely a, a standard in the entrepreneurial community where people will sacrifice their physical and mental health in order to make more sales. They will sacrifice their well-being in order for, to grow their business. 
And I actually, on my Facebook earlier, you guys can follow me on Facebook at Jordan Rubin or Jordan the Enhancement Coach. I made a post earlier saying, which is more important, career and business success or mental and physical health? And just about every single person that commented said, oh, your physical and mental health is the most important because that's what's going to help you grow your business. And I 100% agree with everyone that commented. But here's the reality. So many people, it's still a fact that so many people sacrifice their well-being in order to grow a business. And ultimately, that leads to stress, which can lead to early death, which can lead to sickness, which prevents you from being consistent and prevents you from ultimately providing value to the people who need it most. Mm. I'm loving so, it. I'm loving it. So, focus internally first. Focus on yourself. So focus on yourself first. I mm -hmm. like that. I like that. I like that. I like what I'm hearing, man. I like what he's breaking down how to have achievement in life and or business, by the way. So now you got to focus on the inside before you worry about what's on the outside. Love it, man. What's point number three as you're bringing this down? Mm -hmm, definitely. And I would agree. Life and business, they go together. They you know, should not be separate. There's the talk about work-life balance. No, they need to go together, especially if you're a business owner. Your business should complement your life, and your life should complement your business. Point number three, and this definitely goes off of what Ashley was talking about earlier, enhance your surroundings. Enhance your environment. That's what ultimately led me to taking action. And when other people are supporting you, that's the most powerful thing. Because back in 2015, after the whole hot tub incident, I was still living in a house with 10 other people that encouraged me to keep drinking and doing drugs. So even though my mind was wired, I was working on rewiring my mind to take action and start this business, to go out and be a speaker. It was, look, look my entire environment is the opposite of that. So it's really, 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 I don't wanna say it's impossible, but when you can control the people that come into your life, why not? Why, why put that extra pressure on yourself and surround yourself with people that do not support you? Like, there's no reason to do that. If you're changing, if you're growing into a new new season in your life, some people are not fit to continue on this journey with you. All right, so you got to make sure you're 100% clear on your vision and enhance your surroundings, basically building a team. Like when you're, when you're looking to accomplish a task, you want to get the right team around you. If you're the CEO of your business, and a lot of you guys who are watching, I'm sure are entrepreneurs, you want to an executive team that's going to help you grow this business as you move into the future. Whether it's in business or in life, you've got to have the exact same mindset with your with your network and the people around you. Man, that, that, is, that is so powerful. As I'm listening, I believe one of our mantras is the results that show up in your life is just as important as the results that show up in your bank account. And that is so important. Ashley Little, as you're hearing points number one, points number two, point number three that he's brought in, and he has five. So he has two more, ladies and gentlemen. He has two more that he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna rock your socks. The best is still yet to come. What's, what's going through your mind as you're listening to Jordan Rubin kind of break down his view of the world on what it takes to really have achievement and or achieve success in life and or business? I, a lot of things are running through my mind. First of all, Jordan, you're hitting everything right on the nail. Definitely with the self-care, because we're not healthy, right? We can't be, we're not going to be any good for anybody else. So we have to be healthy inside out. So taking care of ourselves first is so, so, so important. And I love that you said, you know, the environment, right? Surrounding yourself with the right people, that is so important. And when we know that that season is over with, with people, you don't have to be rude about it. You can go in peace, right? And you can just love them from a distance, right? And because you want to be around people who are where you want to be. My mentor, one of my mentors, which is Bro Beffer, we always talk about that on our calls, about just being consistent and being in that right environment with people who are where you want to be and who are who have or who have been there and that can help you on that journey. You want people, you don't you don't need to be the smartest person in your circle, but you need a new one. So I love that you spoke about that because when you change your life, you change when you change your environment, you change your life. And I believe that. Wow, mm -hmm. change your environment, change your life. So powerful. Here, listen to the one and only Jordan Rubin, by the way. He's he's uh, the founder of the Enhanced Coaching. Um, and he's sharing with us how to really achieve success in life and business. And boy, he's breaking it down in a way that we all can use right away. When we come back, he's gonna give us points number four. 
They're going to give us point number five. We're going to go over to Sacconi Prince. He's down in Mobile, Alabama. And he talks about stay consistent. You've heard consistency is the key. Consistency is the key. Consistency is the key. But having said that, what do most people struggle with? <laughs> He's going to tell you consistency. That's right. You're all set. I can hear every single one of you. Sacconi Prince, take it away, my man. Take it away. <laughs> Hello everybody, how you doing today? This is Sakoni Prince of SakoniPrince.com where we make motivation personal by introducing you to yourself. And I'm in the Happy Uncle's Newest Tribe giving you my thought of the week. And I'm doing it because you guys rock. And today is my January 1st. And my thought of the week this week is stay consistent and weather the storm. You know, if you remember my thought of the week from last week, it's totally different this week. Because last week we had blue skies, we had barrels of buttery sunshine, and it was pristine. But today it's overcast and we're threatening torrential rain. And what I've come to understand is that life is a lot, lot like that. You know, you find yourself one day you're up, the other day you're down. One day everything is sunny, the next day the thing, everything is storming. But the question is, are you willing to weather the storm? Because weather in the storm is going to determine whether or not you're successful. We don't need any fair weather friends and we really don't need any fair weather entrepreneurs. Because yes, things, things get hard, things get challenging. But you can, you can make it. You can actually make it out of your situation. And you know what? I encourage you today. I don't care what it is you're facing or what it is you're going through. Hang in there and do what is needed and necessary in order to see yourself succeed. Hey, look, this is Sakoni Prince of SakoniPrince.com, where we make motivation personal by introducing you to yourself. And my thought of the week is stay consistent and weather the storm. Hey, look, back over to you, Shay. Well, it's a great day. My name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur, and welcome back to the number one business development and revenue-focused late-night show in the country where we're on a mission to empower, to inspire, and provide you with the resources necessary to execute that big vision you have for the people you were called to serve. And the man himself, Jordan, is breaking it down on how to achieve success in life and or business which is so important. And I'm taking notes. This is really incredible, by the way. And I love the part. I love the part. You got to take care of yourself. You got to work on yourself. I mean, I love all three points. All right, Jordan, give us point number four, if you will. Before I get into point number four, if you're still engaged right now, you're still engaged, you're listening, you're active here on the Happy Entrepreneurship tonight, I want you to comment the words, enhance my life below. I want you to comment that below and let us know engaged and you're ready for point number four, you're ready for point number five. Point number four is focus on value. And I talked about this very briefly earlier in the show in response to what Ashley was talking about, focusing on value for people. And I talked about two different kinds of mindsets, the, the broke mind, rich mindset. The broke mindset is focused on, I need money. Somebody please help me. Give me money. Like literally asking people, hey, can you help me out and give me money? Hey, can you hire me? I need money. Whereas the rich mindset is, hey, can I provide value? How can I actually serve someone in exchange for monetary compensation when you're actually providing value? That's when people are actually willing to give you money for your business because you're providing real tangible value. But there was a third mindset I didn't even talk about, and that is the wealth mindset. Think about this. I'm going to name a couple companies. You got Amazon, PayPal, and Facebook. Facebook, which uh, which a lot of you probably are tuning in to this show through Facebook right now. Every single one of those CEOs are multi-billionaires. And the way they got to multi-billionaire status, who do they provide value to? They're literally the person in the middle. Amazon doesn't necessarily create all the products that they sell. They literally are the middle person. They, they're literally the third that says, hey, you sell this? Cool. Take it through Amazon. And like well, for my book, Amazon didn't write my book. I wrote my book. Amazon is literally a tool. It's a vessel for me to be able to provide that book to other people. And then Facebook. It literally, Facebook ads is how they make money. Businesses want to promote themselves. Most people in the world use Facebook. All right, cool. Value on both sides of the coin. And they're literally just sitting there. Same with PayPal. You got, you're literally in the middle of a transaction and you got people bouncing, bouncing value back and forth like a game of online ping pong. It's going back and forth and you're getting a cut of that in the middle. That's the ultimate goal is to be that person in the middle where you're providing value to both parties. When you can do that, that's how you're ultimately gonna be able to grow your business long term 
and be supported by both people on on each side. Man, I'm loving that. That that is cool. The person in the middle, the Keisha C. Williams says, "What's up? Enhance my life." I'm surprised she's up. By the way, she's like up at like five a.m. in the morning, but she's I here love watching. It. So you must got her tuned in. She was like, "What is going on? You are rocking it out, man." Give us point number five. Point number five. You've given us four so far. Uh, just do a recap. What was point number one? Point number two? Point number three? Point number four? And then give it to us. Point number five. All right. Previously on the Happy Entrepreneur Show, I had points one through four. Uh, point number one is mindset is more important than knowledge. Got if you it. have the right mindset, you're going to be able to take action. Number two is focus on yourself, focus internally to be able to take care of yourself first. Number three is enhance your environment and your surroundings. The people in your life are going to reflect exactly what you achieve in your life, both financially and in business and in life. And number four, which I just talked about, was focus on value. Focus on the value that you're going to provide and even be that person in the middle to be able to provide value to as many people as possible. Number five, the one you've been waiting for Jumbo. is focus on <laughs> <laughs> focus on the that. numbers game. That. All right, that, that was improv right there. But Focus on the numbers game. And what, what I mean by that, and I want you to just really put this into perspective. There are, what, 8 billion people on the planet. Mm -hmm. So there is somewhere, somewhere, some group of people support what it is that you have to offer. If you're being genuine, you want to help people, there is some group of people that want to help you. And I can't remember right now who said it, but even if 1% of the world supported you, 99% of the world hated you but, and said, what you have sucks, this is BF, and 1% supported you, that's still multi-millions of people, multi-millions of supporters. So the goal here is to just keep reaching out. And I love what Ashley talked about earlier with the follow-up game. It's following up, reaching out to people, letting people know what it is that you do. And that's why I continually post pretty much daily on Facebook. I'm getting back into to Instagram to make sure I'm hitting as many platforms as possible and connecting with as many people as possible who really um, value my message and really value what I have to offer through enhanced coaching. And what you got to understand is even if people say no or you're not getting the sales that you want or you're and, and not even in business, in life, if you're not attracting the right relationships or you're struggling with networking, keep reaching out. It's a numbers game. If you hit enough people, eventually you're going to get the people on your team that are going to help you live the life you truly want and deserve. Man, I love it, man. I love how you broke that thing down. I love how you said to keep on going no matter what. It is a numbers game. You've got to keep trying. Thanks for what you're sharing. We come back, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be talking about rapid fire. Rapid fire is when I get to ask a question and they have a minute or less to answer. I did say a minute or less to answer. I did say a minute or less. I know many of my many of the folks out there saying, Shay, we ain't here in a minute. All we heard was less. <laughs> But it's one of my favorite segments because it's whatever is top of mind to me. We're going to go all the way over to Phoenix, Arizona now and to Angela. And Angela Tusi talks about media really helps drive leads. We'll be back in just a moment. My name is Angel Tessie. I'm a media exposure specialist. So that you can create exposure because exposure leads to leads and leads is how we get customers. And customers is how we get money. How many of you would love to make more money this year? Right? Right? So I'm going to teach you the three critical steps to getting all of that done today. Number one way for you to get results is to connect more people with your audience. To be able to tell your story in a way that isn't an infomercial. It's not your 30 second elevator pitch, but it's really telling your story and making an impact, getting to the heart and soul of your customer. What keeps them up at night? What's their biggest challenge? What's their pain? And let me tell you, what you do in your sleep is what keeps people up at night. 
Well, it's a great day. My name is Shea Brown, the Happy Entrepreneur, and welcome back to the Happy Entrepreneur Show, the number one business development and revenue-focused late-night show in the country where we're on a mission to empower, to inspire, and provide you with the resources necessary to execute the vision you have for the people you were called to serve. And so now we're in a rapid-fire segment, and my first question is really over to Angela. I was Angela. What did I say, Angela? Why did I say Angela? What? <laughs> What am I thinking about, Ashley? I said Angela because I just saw Angela. Ashley, my first question to you, Ashley Little, and the question is, who's been a mentor along this journey for you? I know you might have had so many mentors along the way, but what's one mentor? And you don't have to mention their name, but the point is, what lesson did you learn from that mentor that you can share with all of us that are watching right now? Well, I'm going to say my one of my mentors' names because I, I love – um, the conversations that we have and the relationship, which is Ro Beffer. And one thing that I would say in my conversations with him on a daily basis, sometimes a weekly basis, is to help others, right? Help others and always remain consistent. And when you're doing that and when you're remaining consistent and helping others, um, everything will fall into place for you. And it will also create those opportunities for you. You won't have to go chase any opportunities. They will come to you when you show up and be consistent and pretty much, you know, create your own seat and build your own table. Ah, I love it. That's so important. And Jordan, as I'm looking over, man, I'm wondering, uh, I'm not wondering, what the question is, what's one of the books you recently read that you would like to share and a lesson you learned? So the question is, what's a book you may have read along the way that's impacted your life? And what's a lesson you learned from that book? Well, actually, one of the books I read recently is a book called The Longevity Game by my friend Michael Chiara. Uh, he actually lives here in Atlanta as well. And he and literally reading that book is actually what inspired point number two today because it really made me realize the importance of taking care of the human body. And one of the things that he talks about, and I'm excited that you asked that question because this is something I've implemented consistently over the past 10 days is every single morning – I've woken up and taken a cold shower. Oh, How many guys geez. have taken a cold shower before? And, and and here's the benefit is it literally physically wakes you up. Uh, you know, it helps fight immunity. It, uh, you know, gets your blood flow. It's got some amazing benefits, you know, to get your day started with a cold shower. That was something he talks about in the book and just Ooh. talks about a lot in person. It's I'm dreading tomorrow morning. <laughs> I have chills already. I definitely gonna wake oh, up as yeah. fast as possible. No, that's good. That's that's good. That's good. Um, um Ashley, when you're looking to collaborate with a partner um, okay. in business, um, my question is, what characteristic do you look for? Because you talked about collaborating with other folks and things we need to do, but what should we look for? Or what characteristics is important in the other person? Well, the first one is I spoke about that earlier. Are they helping other people? Are they selfless? You know, are they selfless? Are they like minded? And uh, or do they want to work together? Right. Because you have some people who talk about collaboration, but I don't think everybody really knows the meaning of collaboration. And you really don't know until sometimes until you get into the collaboration. Or maybe they're not the best person to collaborate with. So you want to make sure you're doing your research and making sure that you're seeing things and seeing people that they've helped and, and what, you know, pretty much being consistent and paying attention and studying the person. I would say study the person before you actually go into the collaboration with them. Study. Sure. And Jordan, as I'm listening right now, thanks for sharing, Ashley. Um, what's what's one of the big goals you have out there? What's, what's something big that people can expect from Jordan over the next uh, 12 to 18 months? That you're working on maybe if it's something you feel comfortable releasing obviously i know you got so much going on but what's what's one of those big goals for you man that's so big you're like gosh guys yeah i'm going after this right now yeah definitely so i'm really looking to scale with my with my events that take you know, the enhancement workshops uh really looking to take those on a at a much higher level right now they've been meetups where you know I've, I've provided a platform for other speakers as well to make sure that we're all on the same mission of helping people step outside their comfort zones becoming the strongest version of yourselves and ultimately ultimately live in the life you truly want and deserve it's all been based on that sort of message and helping people enhance their lives but i'm really looking to expand those and uh you know, get into bigger venues and making sure we reach a larger audience. So that's one of the things. I'm also launching Enhance University. I'll go ahead and say that live on the air. Enhance University is going to be launching on February 7th. Uh, that's going to be a big one. That's going to be a, a, a group mentorship program 
really focus enhancing your life through all the seven modules of of mindset, uh, optimal human health, uh, rewire, spiritual health, um, networking, financial management, and business and influence, and really making sure that you start with the mindset. Like I said, mindset's more important than knowledge, and then build up to everything else you need to really live the enhanced life. And uh, that's going to be the start of of what's coming next. And I'm I'm super excited about it. And I appreciate you having me here on the show. And Appreciate you all tuning in for the Happy Entrepreneur Show tonight. Thank you so much. And and Ashley, I know you are a PR, a public relations guru. Um, do you mind taking a moment? I know it's a loaded question, but in a minute or less, kind of what's the difference between like PR and marketing? I know they, they fight all the time. Someone says, oh, it's PR. I'm doing marketing to get PR. And maybe they do. But just as an expert from your view of the world, um, how do you see them being different and having different roles? Well, the difference is when you when you're doing marketing, you're going out, you're looking for different ways to make sure that the brand is selling, to make sure that the person is, um, you know, getting in those those different magazines or getting, you know, uh, being featured. PR meaning you're you're actually taking it a little further. You're making those connections. You're trying to get them on different platforms. You might try to get them on, you know, um, more media TV opportunities, more front cover of magazines, more connections of more platforms to get their to the visibility to get them out there so it just depends i mean i do a lot of, of marketing as well where i help a lot of people get featured or might get on front covers or i actually might write a blog on them but then when you're trying to get in the pr side you actually getting them on bigger platforms making it more visible for them to get their brand out there makes sense if for those folks are out there um one how should they connect with you and if there's a gift or something mm-hmm. you want to give away i want to make sure you do that so number one how should they best connect with you ashley and if there's a place they can go to download learn more where should they go they can also they can follow me on facebook at ashley little on instagram i'm underscore ashley a little and i tell everybody to follow my talk radio and tv network llc page on facebook Follow the page and you all will learn a lot about me and a lot of the different people I interview and we can all connect. Uh, I love it. I love it. And over to you, Jordan, man. How can how can folks connect with you, my man? Well, I would think if you're really looking to continue hearing more of what I have to say and continuing to follow my content, I definitely recommend right after this show to go to the Life Enhancement Movement. Go ahead and send a request to that group. That's where I'm the most active right now is in that group. Uh, so definitely join that. And, you know, we have this networking, you know, it's really a good group, you know, definitely what Ashley was talking about, creating a, an environment where it can be focused on enhancing your life. So it's called Life Enhancement Movements. That's the name of my group. Uh, also, you can follow me on Facebook at Jordan, comma, the Enhancement Coach and on Instagram at Jordan Rubin Speaker. And also, I'll be posting a link below. I know I mentioned this very brief, briefly, but uh, at Last year, I published my first book, Trapped in a Box, and I'll post a link on Amazon. So the book is available as well as the ebook for those of you that love Kindle and just being able to take the book wherever you want, take it on your phone or your laptop. It's available on both of those platforms. So Amazon, Facebook, Instagram, but the best way to get connected now is Life Enhancement Movement. I'm loving it, man. I'm loving it. Well, I tell you what, when we come back, they're going to have their final thoughts, their final thoughts for all of you that are listening right now and the importance of that. We're going to go over now. We're going to go over to the one and only uh, Kinnett Thigpen. And Kinnett Thigpen talks about get in a position. Uh, I think it's, oh, no, sorry. You got, it's, she's talking about manifestation over hesitation. Manifestation over hesitation. We'll be back in just a moment. Hello, it's your girl, Dr. Kenneth Thigpen, also known as Dr. K, founder of Rise Women's Network. And Rise Women's Network is pleased to present to you, hashtag Next Sister Up. I'm with you in the Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe, and today is my January 1st. Here's your thought of the week, manifestation over hesitation. You see, hesitation is the highest form of self-sabotage. You know, when I think of hesitation, I often think of double dutching. And when people would be turning the rope, you would have an individual who was waiting to jump in and they would be doing this whole back and forth number of hesitating, of trying to think when the best time was to go in. You see, in that same hesitation is in life where we become hesitant of the things that we're going to manifest because of fear or lack of confidence or lack of courage or 
the self-doubt or procrastination or because we're over analyzing things. You know what? It's time to manifest what it is that we want in our life because whatever we focus on is what we will get to experience in life. So it's important that first that we are crystal clear on what it is that we want. We should be asking for what we desire with such precision that there's no question in regards to what we want. Next, we need to let go of these limiting beliefs. You see, these limiting beliefs are the things that are holding us back and holding us down. It's time to let them go. Next, we want to stay positive. Let's focus on the positive. So all this negative self-talk that we're telling ourselves, it's time to replace it with positive reframes. Next, we want to take action. And if you joined us last week, you would know that we talked about taking action. So no matter how small or how minuscule that step forward in the right direction might seem, it's important that you take action. And lastly, you want to be able to acknowledge and be grateful about the things that have already happened. Be grateful and acknowledge the things that you have already done to be able to manifest things in your life. And so I challenge you this week, stop hesitating and it's time to manifest. So start thinking, start asking, start believing, start acting and start receiving. It's your girl, Dr. K. Make it a great day. Well, it's a great day. My name is Shay Brown, the Happy Entrepreneur, and welcome back to the Happy Entrepreneur Show the number one business development, revenue-focused, late-night show in the country where we're on a mission. And our mission is to empower, our mission is to inspire, and our mission is to provide you, you the entrepreneur, with the, with the what? With the resources necessary, that's right, to execute the vision you have for the people you were called to serve. And I want to thank our two guest experts this evening, none other than Ashley Little and Jordan Rubin, who have shared their best ideas, they've shared their insider secrets, and have taken time away from their very busy lives to be here with you in order to give back. And we appreciate that. So here's how you can give them a digital applause. You, digital applause. You can look right below the video and write, thank you, Ashley. Thank you, Jordan. Or we appreciate you. Ashley, we appreciate you, Ruben, because one of the things we know that every one of you watching right now as entrepreneurs, we all know that you all, every one of you, can always make more money. We know you can make more money. I, I have a, no doubt you can. But none of us, nobody that I'm aware of, can make more time. And they've given you the most precious resource they have, which is their time. So we thank them for that. We honor them for that. Uh, I'm going to go and give them the final comments. Um, as they share their final thoughts to empower you and to inspire you to continue doing what you're doing, we'll give it first to the lady. We'll give it first to Ashley Little. And then after Ashley Little, I'll come right over to Jordan. Ashley, once again, let me just say thank you so much. Uh, power, networking, and collaboration is very important. Uh, you shared your best ideas, and we thank you for pouring your heart out and looking forward to having you back on the Happy Entrepreneur Show. Over to you. Thank you. Again, thank you, Shay, for the opportunity to be on this amazing, amazing platform. My final thought would be execution. Execute, execute, execute. People might not, the people you want might not be on board at first, but if you execute, the people will come. So just execute. Yeah, I love it. Love it. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. And over to my man, Jordan. Jordan, this is the second rodeo, my man. We had a rodeo uh, a couple of weeks ago, and he's like, man, I'll do it anytime, any place. I said, well, let's do it now. And we did like the next day, and he's back again, and we certainly appreciate that, my man. Um, thanks for sharing with us how folks can really reach achievement, uh, which is one of your first very, very first thought of the weeks, by the way, was achievement and achieving a success, which is so cool. Take a moment, if you will, to share your final thoughts. Uh, appreciate you. Appreciate what you're doing on your show. Appreciate you getting that book done and appreciate you being authentic and kind of sharing that backstory of how we all have that being that at the right place with the right friends and being able to turn that all around. So over to you for your final thoughts and comments. Again, we appreciate you, my brother. So final thoughts, I want to refer back to the first point I made with mindset being more important than knowledge. And I want you to go in with this mentality because you're getting a lot of great information right now. I hope you're taking some physical notes so that it's not that you're just watching the Happy Entrepreneur Show, having a good time, and then you forget, oh, man, what, what was Ashley talking about again? Oh, man, I'm about to go to this networking event. I don't know what to do. So hopefully you're taking some good notes, but I want to wrap up with this. Obviously, you want to start executing you got to execute, 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 but simply make taking action the goal. Like if you get up tomorrow morning and you go to the gym and you have a crappy workout, congratulations, check the box. You went to the gym. Keep doing that every single morning, all right? If, you, if you're um, you know, making cold calls for your business 
and nobody's responding and you're not making any sales, check the box. You made the calls. You took the action. And what that's going to do is it's going to build your discipline and time. You're going to be so disciplined that now you're like, okay, give me, give me more of that knowledge. Give me more of that. How, how can I really scale my discipline schedule? Wow. Powerful, powerful. Well, once again, thank you so much. We appreciate both of you for being here. You both are rock stars. You both are amazing. You both are making such a big difference in the world. With that being said, you all just talked to Ashley Little. On this other, Ashley Little. And you also talked to the one and only Jordan Rubin. Thank you so much. I want you to know that all the viewers out there, whether you're watching on Apple TV, you're watching on uh, Amazon Fire, or, or maybe some of you are watching on YouTube or listening to the podcast, we appreciate every single one of you. And all of our viewers who are online right now that are watching, whether you're live or watching the replay, I want you to know that you're amazing. I want you to know you're part of the Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe. We appreciate every comment. We appreciate every like. Appreciate everybody that has paid this message forward. And I want you to know that today is your January 1st. You can really use your power networking and your collaboration to get to where you want. Today is your January 1st. You deserve the success in your life. You deserve the success in your business. And it's coming for you. Why, Shay? Because today is your January 1st and the best is yet to come. I know the best is yet to come. The best is certainly yet to come. With that being said, by the way, my name, for those folks who are just tuning in, is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. And I promise you from the bottom of my heart, we'll make some good things how we connect again next time. God bless. And I wish every single one of you success. See you soon. Thanks a lot, Jordan. Thanks a lot, Ashley. Y'all rock. Y'all hung yes, in there. Y'all made it to you. Thank you all for tuning in, Give too. It. Thank you. <laughs> we'll see you soon. God bless. made to my mom. I only did this message for one person, and that's my mom. This is for you, mom. Love you. My name is Shea Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, check. Shea Brown. My check, my check. All I do is we, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the building, everybody hands go up. Yes. Yeah. And they stay there. Thank you, thank you, Captain.